This is the Mechanic KT68 Pro, a keyboard with a crazy LED strip like the Cyberboard. As you can see, this is a 65% keyboard but is the size of a 75% due to all the fancy shenanigans at the top. You can see that this keyboard is made out of plastic for that translucent look, which also means it's nice and lightweight. On the back side, we have a centered USB-C port and a switch for wireless and cable use. On the underside, we can see that 4000 mAh battery as well as kickstand feet with two angles. And from the side, you can see the 5 degree typing angle and the step up to fit the LED screen and the side volume wheel. This volume wheel is made of plastic but is very responsive, has a nice grip, is stepped, and is also a tactile mute button by default. As for the interface, we have some large labels for caps lock, Bluetooth, and battery, as well as this knob that you can pull which is defaulted to minimize and restore all windows, and it's actually really convenient. And of course, beside it we have this huge 9.1 inch 325 LED screen that has this awesome animation during startup and can be customized too. As for the keycaps, we have some OSA profile translucent keycaps with surface printed legends. There's a few cool graphics inspired by Off-White, but the more you use them, the faster they will fade away, which might be a good thing if you want a full clear keycap set since underneath, we have these transparent North Pole yellow switches. They're factory lubed linear switches with a 50 gram spring, and there's also a tactile dark brown switch version with a 55 gram spring that's also available. And underneath the switches, we have a north-facing hot-swappable PCB with 5-pin compatibility and plate foam inside too. As for the stabilizers, they're really basic plate stabs, and the one thing that grinds my gears are these fake lubed stabs where they just put a bit of lube on the corner and called it a day, so I'm pretty disappointed about that. The spacebar is definitely not great, and they tried to fix it by adding some silicone in these slots to make it sound slightly better. But you can be the judge of that because here's the sound test. For connectivity, we've got tri-connectivity, so we get Bluetooth connectivity of up to 3 devices at once, as well as a 2.4G USB receiver and a range extender for a fourth device. And the shortcuts are nicely labeled from Z to V, which is always appreciated. You can even check your battery life of the keyboard by pressing Function Alt and you get this nice battery bar up top. As for software, we have Mechanic's own software where you can remap keys, create macros, and because this keyboard is so RGB focused, you get a heck load of options for effects and colors to suit your personal preferences. But my favorite is definitely the audio spectrum effect that follows the audio on your computer. Overall, using this keyboard has been a really good experience and I like how vivid it is. There's tons of lighting and it's quite the eye catcher for sure, especially that cyberboard inspired LED block. Everything works well and the small details plastered around the case and keycaps make it a little more unique than your regular keyboard. And I almost forgot to mention that it comes with a matching aviator cable too, so that's just great. And by the way, this keyboard isn't technically new. The KT68 non-pro edition exists except it just doesn't have the LED screen and I'll link that down below as well. The one thing that sucks are the stabs, but a quick lube session will immediately fix it. Links to buy it is going to be in the description down below starting at $179 on Kickstarter which seems kind of expensive but it's up to you if you want to buy it. But let me know your thoughts. Would you get this keyboard because it does look really nice and it works fairly well? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.